let's start off with some good news. I've made progress on Osana. However, I haven't made enough progress to make a whole video about Osana just yet. My current goal is to implement all of Osana and Senpai's interaction events, allow Yandere-chan to sabotage those events, and implement Osana's confession cutscene, which will have a different outcome based on Yandere-chan's actions. I already have all of the animations and voice acting that I need for the interaction events, so now it's just a matter of writing the code. Once I have implemented all of the interaction events, I'll make a video to show off the events and to demonstrate how a rival can be eliminated through sabotage. I'm not ready to make this video just yet, since I don't want to show off anything that's only half finished. But I still want to create videos about the game's development at least twice per month. So, during these periods of time when I'm not ready to show you the next big feature, I will instead be making videos about various subjects related to the game's development. That's the kind of video you're about to see. Today, I want to discuss the game's character models, the flaws and limitations of those models, and how they are going to change in the future. The first thing that bothers me about the models is their body proportions. Anime characters usually have stylized bodies, instead of realistic bodies. The Yandere Sim character models feel bland and boring in comparison to characters from other anime games. For example, anime characters usually have long and slender necks. Yandere Sim's characters have short and thick necks. In fact, from some camera angles, it looks like they don't even have necks. Another thing that bothers me about the character models is that they feel far too childlike in appearance. The characters are meant to be seen as young adults, not kids, and their current proportions definitely are not portraying them as adults, which is why I'd prefer to have less childish, more stylized bodies in the future. Over the course of the last few weeks, two new games were released that are set in Japanese high schools. One is called Blue Reflection, and one is called Persona 5. Seeing these two games in action has shown me a lot of ways that Yandere Simulator could stand to be improved, in terms of character models, environment models, and user interface. I'd love to spend some time talking about the lessons I've learned from these games, but that's for another video in the future. For now, all I'm going to say is that I think Blue Reflection and Persona 5 have set the standard for character model quality in school simulation games, and I hope Yandere Simulator's final character models will be just as stylish and appealing as the models from those two games. One of the greatest strengths of anime as an art form is how expressive the characters can be. Yandere characters in particular are known for extremely exaggerated facial expressions. In general, 3D models lack the flexibility of 2D animations. However, a 3D model can be just as expressive as a 2D anime character, if the character rig is specifically designed to facilitate exaggerated facial expressions. Yandere Simulator's character models are not designed for that kind of flexibility. For example, the eyebrows cannot even bend, which means that you'll never see a Yandere Simulator character make a face like this. If a character is committing murder, witnessing murder, or being murdered, they are experiencing very extreme emotions. In a game where such situations are taking place, it's absolutely essential for the characters to have faces that can express the powerful feelings they'll be going through. You're probably familiar with MMD, Miku Miku Dance, a program that allows people to create 3D anime music videos. 
The most popular MMD character models have exactly the amount of expressiveness that I want the characters in Yandere Simulator to be capable of. Hopefully, Yandere Sim's final character models will be able to match or surpass those models in expressiveness. So, if we are going to be rebuilding Yandere Simulator's character models, what kind of art style should the new models have? Should we keep the original art style, or should we try something else? Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the current art style, and I've always hoped that it would change one day. There is a part of me that thinks it would be really cool to give Yandere Sim characters more realistic faces. But realistic faces can't be as flexible and expressive as cartoony faces, so ultimately I'm not likely to go in a realistic direction. I'm probably going to consider a variety of different art styles before deciding what Yandere Simulator's final art style should be. At the moment, I'm heavily considering something that is similar but not identical to the Danganronpa art style, or the Persona art style. Actually, the latest Persona game features a character who looks remarkably similar to Yandere-chan. This allows us to see a glimpse of what Yandere-chan might look like in the Persona art style. I'm sure you've noticed this by now, but all of the characters in Yandere Simulator share the same face. Obviously, I wouldn't want this to be the case in the final game. However, instead of creating dozens of individual character models, it would be a far better idea to create one base model that has the ability to morph in various ways. This base model could have a variety of eye shapes, head shapes, and other customizable aspects so that an entire cast of unique characters can be born from one highly flexible character model. There are models in existence that can blend between male and female, child and adult. Maybe Yandere Simulator will have one base model, or one male base and one female base, or one teenager base and one adult base. It's too early to say, but no matter what option we choose, the goal is to have an entire cast of characters who each have a unique face. Right about now, you might be asking, what will happen to all of the hairstyles and 3D animations that were made for the model's current proportions and current skeleton? Well, it's possible to retarget an animation from one skeleton to another, so I don't think that this is going to be a problem for us. When it comes to 3D hairstyles that were created specifically for the currently existing models, we have three options. One, give the final character models the same general head shape as the old character models so that all hairstyles remain 100% compatible. Two, ask the modelers to adjust all previous hairstyles to be compatible with the head shape of the new character models. Or three, abandon the game's current hair models and adopt a new system for hair. We would have front hair pieces, back hair pieces, and side hair pieces. This would allow for a much wider variety of hairstyles for non-playable characters, and more elaborate character customization for Yandere-chan. All three of these options have benefits and drawbacks, so it's too early to say how things are going to work out. It's difficult to estimate when the day will come, but eventually, Yandere Simulator's character models are going to change in numerous ways, so that they can be more expressive, be more customizable, be more appealing, and have more variety. Creating high-quality character models with the level of flexibility that I described in this video is probably going to require full-time work from an extremely experienced and highly skilled character modeler. In other words, it's not going to be cheap. There's a possibility that the game's final character models might not be created until after Osana is 100% complete, 
and the crowdfunding campaign has provided us with a budget to work with. A successful crowdfunding campaign will ensure that the final character models are capable of everything needed to help this game reach its full potential. The crowdfunding campaign will not happen until after Osana is finished, so I'm going to pour all of my effort into finishing Osana and making sure that the experience of taking her down is as fun as possible. Thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator.